God bless America. God bless Texas. God bless Dallas, Texas. God bless those Dallas Cowboys. You love those Dallas Cowboys, don't you? Don't you love those Cowboys? Of course you do. He been, his mom been trying to get him to be a fan of the San Francisco 49ers, but I've been teaching him right. I've been teaching him how it goes. All right, this is Robert E. Lee. Got something in your ear. Got something in your ear. Robert E. Lee Walker, my boy. He's three and a half years old, soon to be four and a badass. He's going to get his shirt when he's five for a shirt. It's going to be Skinner's shirt, too. Ain't going to be no Cinderella shirt like his mama wants. Anyway, have been here for a while. I've kind of been gone. Last post was around Thanksgiving. And uh, since Thanksgiving, a lot has really happened here. Uh, our Christmas tree caught on fire. I don't know how the hell that happened because it's metal. So how does a metal Christmas tree catch on fire? I think the boy did have something to do with it. But he ain't saying nothing. He's learned a lot from his old man. He ain't going to say nothing about that. Keep him quiet. That's right. Keep him guessing. And always ask for your attorney. So, and after that, New Year's was pretty cool. All the Hispanics were flying their guns up in the air. None of them hit my house, uh, uh, luckily. And then uh, Valentine's Day was okay. I took my wife out to Golden Corral. They had all-you-can-eat steak, and they had a chocolate fountain that the old lady just loved. Man, that just got her going. That night we had some, we, that night we almost made a Robert Lee Daddy. Jr. out of that night. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, you, you got to go potty. We'll go outside, open the door. You want to go outside, you want to go inside, you know? Well, just go ahead and go potty inside. Go ahead. I can't reach the door. I'm making a movie. <sighs> okay, can I be honest? I bought to buy a motorcycle, a little lady, Yamaha Y, you know, 80. And uh, he kind of took a couple dumps on it. A uh, real hard one yesterday. Or a couple of days ago, and even that kind of weird. But uh, I can get him up in the mornings. He hasn't passed out yet, so I think he's gonna be okay. Uh, but uh, I hope he's. I hope. I mean, he's already kind of borderline not right. But uh, don't tell his mama that I told her because she doesn't know anything about that. So anyway, um, we got these Olympics in Russia. This place called Sochi. Now, last I heard, there were no Asians in Russia. So why are you going to call it Sochi? You know why? Because Russia's got those Asians moving in there, and they're not taking care of their business. They're letting them, like, change up their names and their cities and all that. So anyway, they got this place called Sochi, and that's where they have these winter games. Got these little hippie uh, snowboarders winning all the gold uh, gold medals. But I'll tell you what, the Russians lost in, a, in a hockey, and I'm happy about that. Another thing I'm kind of wondering about is why would Russia – not want to have a pussy ride. Yeah. They're like all against, they're all against this pussy ride. Now, when I was working roadie for the Kentucky Headhunters, Greg Martin knows this. Hey, Greg, you know this. Every Friday night and twice, oh, every two weeks on Wednesday, that was a pussy ride. <laughs> that was a pussy ride right there. We didn't like beat them with whip and tell them to get out. No, man. So Russians lighten up. Enjoy the pussy ride because uh, it's a good thing. What do you want, son? You want, you want, you want your milk bone now? Come on here, take your milk bone. Now go go watch some uh, go watch that professional wrestling program I recorded for it. So anyway, so just you know, don't be pussy right free. Let them do what they want to do. You know. Oh damn it! I told the boy to get me a warm one. You got me a cold one. Oh lord, that hurts right there, right there. Thank you, Dickies, and your stupid. Pork ribs. You know what tender means? Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Don't go to Dickie's. Jim Sewer knows what I'm talking about. He had it going out both ends for about three days. Jim knows. So if you ever see Jim ask about Dickie's, he'll tell you. So anyway, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Who the hell is Jimmy Fallon? Do you know? Why are you taking your bandana off, son? Okay, I need some professional advice. Is this boy right? He fell off that bike pretty hard. No, you're not right. Yeah, I think I think we gonna find out about that. Anyway, this is kind of short today. And also, people, I've been want to address one more thing. People have been asking me, CW, why you wear those glasses all the time? And I have to admit, I'm a little self-conscious about about something. And I'm gonna go ahead. 
And and just like that football player came out being gay, I think I'm just going to come out and say I'm cross-eyed. Okay? So I hope you all respect that and you don't make fun of me. But that's why I wear glasses. Okay? So, anyway. Y'all have a good day. Remember to love your fellow American. And uh, also, remember that if you want to pay me and send me gifts, I will take beer. Because beer is away. Also, one more thing. If you're going to name your kid, you name him with three names. Robert, E. Lee, Walker. That's four, okay? But I mean three. Like David Lee Roth. You know, that's pretty cool. Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> Ronnie Van Zant. Jackie Don Lowe. There you go. All right, come up here and say goodbye to everybody. So get, get your American flags off the ground there. Come on. Here we go. Okay, now you got to say goodbye to everybody. Here's your milk bone. I know, you don't like those. That's all we got right now. Okay. So God bless the United States. God bless Texas. God bless Dallas. God bless East Dallas. And God bless those cowboys. Woo! Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Robert. Say goodbye. Boy, you're intolerable today. I tell you what. Now, you better go get over there and tell your mama that you're too old to be wearing diapers. Too old.